watching Bengals Breakdown. I am your host, Stone Shields. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. The focus of today's show is the fact that the Bengals just got some great news. There's been a lot of conversations happening around the NFL about the salary cap, perhaps taking a significant jump up in the near future, and potentially the NFL moving towards an 18-game regular season. So that's going to be the focus of today's show, a little bit different than our normal shows here on Bengals Breakdown, but certainly excited to dive in it with you guys. But before we do that, make sure you share today's video for us on YouTube right now. Get it out there across social media. That is the goal of our show today. Talk to the bosses, and they said our shares numbers aren't where they need to be, and we need to up those a little bit. So help us out. Share this video right now on social media. It'll really do us a huge favor. So help us out right now and share today's show. So here is what Lloyd Howe had to say. And Lloyd Howe is the executive director of the NFL Players Association. He said, we have talked at a very, 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 very high level superficially with the recognition about, yeah, this is something we should be talking about. And we should really kick the tires and understand what else goes into that decision-making process in regards to adding an 18th game. Here's what the Washington Post put out last month towards the end of July. The NFL Players Association has engaged in high-level discussions with the NFL about the potential implementation of an 18-game regular season, the NFLPA's executive director said. And this is really starting to gain some momentum here. I think, you know, this idea has been tossed around, you know, uh, over the past several months. But now some bigwigs are really starting to talk about it. Roger Goodell even addressed a potential 18-game season for the NFL. Obviously, from Goodell's standpoint, more games is more money. So for, you know, for him, it's kind of a no-brainer in terms of wanting this to happen at some point in the future. Joe Burrow also talked about this a little bit. Now, I, I think a lot of people have taken this out of context. If you don't remember, he was on Pardon My Take, and they kind of asked him about the schedule, and then he said, how many games are we playing? And then they said 18, and then he went on to elaborate about it. So this context um, is very important because I think there's a notion out there that Joe Burrow wants to play 18 games. That's not exactly what went down, but in Burrow's case, Obviously, you know, it's not up to him. If the league decides to go to 18 games, he's just got to roll with it. So that's when he kind of addressed those um, uh, comments on that podcast. But it did seem like he would be all right with them playing 18 games. More from Lloyd Howe here on adding an 18th game. He said, the simple fact of the matter is when you have a growing enterprise and there are opportunities within that interve intervening period of where your progress could be made and you could tweak the existing CBA legal document, why wouldn't you want to do that? I call it bargaining. I call it amendments. I call it updates to what is now a living document called a CBA. Yeah, I want to be able to have our membership in a position to jump on it when we can, not wait until their playing days are done, and it's like you go through the cycle all over again. So a chance for you guys to get interactive with our show today here at Bengals Breakdown. Do you want an 18-game regular season? From a fan's perspective, it's more football. So if that's kind of how you feel on that, type Y for us in the comment section. If you don't want an 18-game season, type N for us at the pin comment of today's video. So if that ad comes here on YouTube, you know the drill by now. Ignore it, take advantage of it, get down in the comments, and give us your thoughts. I think we will have an 18-game season within the next five years. It kind of feels inevitable at this point, right? Because, um, like I said earlier, it's more games, it's more money, and, you know, the big wigs, big wigs are talking about this becoming a reality. So I think within the next five years, they will get something done, and we will see 18 regular season games being played in the NFL. So why is this good news for the Cincinnati Bengals? Well, I think there's several reasons as to why it is, and it's not just for the Bengals, it's really for all the teams in the NFL, especially from a high up level in their organization. The number one thing is more games equals a bigger salary cap. So that gives you more opportunity to spend more money, right? So, um, you know, I, this is what I think of when I think of, the main thing I think about with the Bengals is if this were to be happening now, if we were in an 18 game season now, 
more money is more fle- flexibility to swing big. So I think if T. Higgins was having the situation that he's currently having and there was an 18-game season and thus the salary cap was a lot higher, they could potentially afford to keep him in Cincinnati. Now, this isn't going to get done by next year, so it, this example isn't really relevant right now, but I think it's good to point out that if this were something that were actually going down right now, T. Higgins might be able to stick around in Cincinnati, and it certainly doesn't look like that's going to be the case at this point in time. Looking at uh, how the NFL salary cap has gone up over the last several years, obviously you have a little outlier there in 2021 with it going down, but there was something called a global pandemic that was going on that caused that to happen. But it almost you know, doubled up the following year, going up by 14%. It's only going to continue to go up, and I think – uh, you know, a lot of teams recognize this, and that's why they backload their contracts so much the way they do, because they're like, well, a couple of years from now, the salary cap's going to be a lot higher, and this is going to be a lot more affordable for teams. An 18th game could add 15 to $20 million extra, and when you think about that, that could be a really, really good player that you could add that you haven't been able to add in the past. So it, it's going to be very significant. That's really what I'm trying to hammer home here is if there, if and when there is an 18th game, it's really going to make a lot of difference in terms of the spending that teams can utilize on players in free agency or just big trades that they can swing in their favor. I want to give a shout-out to our friends over at Game Time because today's show is presented by Game Time. And I love the summer because Major League Baseball is in full swing. I love making the walk down the street from our chat sports offices to a Reds game any chance that every chance that I get. I'm actually about to do that right now after we get done filming this video. Prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer it gets to the first pitch. With killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets. And with the NFL season just, over, uh, just around the corner, you can get tickets to watch the Bengals at Paycor Stadium, and Game Time doesn't just have sporting events. They also have concerts, comedy, theater, and more. I love the zone deals. You choose the section, and Game Time chooses the seats for you. So download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off first purchase. Check out GameTime.co for last-minute tickets. Terms apply. Again, create an account, use code, and redeem code CHATSPORTS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last-minute tickets at the lowest price. Guaranteed. 18 games is also going to give you more ability to kind of absorb a highly paid quarterback's salary. When you look at how much money Joe Burrow is going to be making, when you look at like 2029, he's going to be making close to $50 million. That's such a significant chunk of your salary cap as a football team. So that's something that also you can think about. And the Bengals certainly are, again, you can use this kind of formula for a lot of different teams in the NFL. Well, the Bengals have tied for that you know, highest paid quarterback in the league. So this certainly helps them and would allow them to kind of absorb that more easily with a salary cap that is going up. And also, it would be easier to cut bad contracts if you're Cincinnati. Now, the Bengals don't really have any bad contracts at this point because they don't really make any aggressive moves in that department. But salary cap goes up. Maybe they change their mindset a little bit, can be a little bit more aggressive, they can cut some contracts that aren't uh, you know, working out so well, and they don't just have to eat it and take that player and continue to move forward with that player like they would right now in 2024. So this is what I would do if I was Roger Goodell. I could certainly get the player's perspective of, well, we're already getting beat up for 17 games plus the postseason. Why go out there and do it again? I, I get that, but if I'm Goodell, it's about making money. So in order to do that, I would trim – the preseason to two games. Obviously, we're at three right now. I mean, you could probably even do it one preseason game, but I would get that down to two, and then I would also implement a second buy. I think that is absolutely 100% necessary if you go to 18 games. Got to get a second buy in that schedule. And kind of back to what Burrow's proposal was, he kind of you know mentioned the idea of kind of doing it how the NBA does it, and having the Pro Bowl week during the season, I think that's something that could be considered. I mean, the Pro Bowl, they've really struggled with ratings. Nobody really cares about it because it's after the year. You could use that as the second bye week with maybe a couple weeks to go in the regular season, and that allows everyone to kind of refresh when they get ready for that last stretch towards the playoffs. So I think that's an interesting thing you could possibly add 
as well. But that's just my two cents on the whole situation. Before we get out of here, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at Stone Shields underscore. Got some great content up there as well as some highlights from the Bengals preseason game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Trying to get to 400 followers, so help us out. Hit that follow button on Twitter at Stone Shields underscore. Thank you.